I recently had the pleasure of seeing the new movie War Room that releases Friday, September 18th in Canada. I love the movie and its focus on prayer and it inspired me to think about how to create my own prayer space at home. I'm here with John and we're going to talk about how you can create your own War Room as well. Yeah, Shelley, Hi. you and I have <laughs> lots of fun together doing crafts and food and, we, we do. and we're silly, and, uh, but this is such a serious subject, the whole yeah. issue of prayer and intercession and there's so many people that are watching us today who say, you know, I need a touch of God in my life. Yeah. And so you're providing some prayer tools and some prayer strategies that we could create our own war room. Yeah, I think it's such a great idea. Um, I don't know if you have a space where you pray, but mm -hmm. at home I have a space I'm kind of setting apart. I was setting it apart for writing, but after I saw the movie, I wanted to incorporate right. some prayer ideas into it as well. So yeah. When yeah. I was a pastor, I had actually a closet uh, that I went to. It was a real closet. I kind of converted it into a... It was, it was just where a lot of junk was in the church building. Yeah. And it was away from my office and where everybody was. And I went there and I would uh, read the Bible and pray and uh, spend about an hour a day there. It was yeah. very powerful in my yeah. life. It's a good idea to yeah. have that space. So today I have a few ideas that people can take into whatever space What's they have. Doing? So first over here, of course, chalkboard. Um, but I think it's a great idea to maybe make a list of what you're praying for, just so that when you're praying, you can visualize it, you mm -hmm. can see it. So just, I made this really simply with some things from the dollar store and just hang it up wherever your space is and just, it can just be a reminder to you of what you're praying for. And pray so, for the people that you love and, yeah, and affect your life. Whatever needs are in your, your life. Just yeah. right. It's great. Yeah. What's here? Um, next, I think it's great to be able to pray through the Bible and pray God's word because God's word is so powerful. Right. So I just got this little frame and some little, um, that little is clips. That's so cool. And I just put some verses on there. So you that you just mean put a lot. that like on a shelf or something, yeah. right? Yeah, wherever you want to just focus and just maybe get into the right, you know, state of your heart before you're praying. Just read through some scripture. Right. I noticed in the movie she did that um, in her war closet. She just had scripture everywhere that she right. would pray through. So I think it's really powerful praying, to do that. Praying the scriptures is a powerful thing. Yeah, so that's quite easy to do. And journaling. Journaling is something I love to do. Um, so this is a really easy idea just to make your own prayer journal. And often, I know for me when I write, you know, God often speaks to me when I write. So I just think the idea of um, while you're praying, just writing down your requests and how God's moving, maybe make a list, what, how God is answering you, so many different yeah, yeah, things. That, that's powerful too because when a prayer, is, some, sometimes we forget what we prayed for yes. months and months before and God answers that prayer. Yeah. And if you have as part of your prayer time in your prayer clause, in your war, war room, reviewing what God has done, yeah. it only encourages you and gives you greater confidence to intercede and go to the throne of grace and say, God, please help yeah. me again in a new situation as you have in the past. Yeah, for sure. And also, just so our viewers know, if you go to our website, there's lots of great war room resources. Right. And this is a journal that they have produced. This is for um, young adult students, but there's something there for every age of the family just connected to prayer. So it's really great. If if our viewers want to go check it out and see yeah. what we have there. Yeah, and you know, we are promoting War Room, and I'll show you this simply, this, uh, I think we'll get a shot of this here. Uh, uh, this is a War Room movie promotion uh, debuting September the 18th here in Canada. And then on the back we have here additional resources. Shelly just showed you one, but here's additional resources. Just go to crossroads.ca, and that can help you develop the resources inside your War Room. A good reading that leads to good intercession. Yes, and there's lots of great items there. Um, the last thing that we have here, um, in the past I've made inspiration boards, so I decided this time to make a prayer inspiration board. This is cork. So yeah, it's just a little bulletin board, and so you know, I put a picture of my kids up there, some symbols, some sayings that mean a lot to me. I have a little um, painting beside there with a verse from a song that I love. So just fill your space with things that inspire you and just, you know, So let, you that's like, like the anchor. You know, yeah. I th oftentimes I think of God's word as an anchor in our lives. And then yeah. you have the key. Jesus Christ is the key to eternal life. Yeah. Those are beautiful images. They are yeah. fantastic. So I think you can yeah. surround your space with things yeah. like that that just, you know. Well done, Sean. Thank you. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so uh, you please go to our e-store and uh, also go and see War Room. You'll be glad you did. Uh, it's an important movie and it'll encourage you. And uh, I hope that you will develop your wardroom. Shelley, thanks for your effort. Thanks, as well done, well done as always with excellence. Thank, Thank you. you.